Next, I'm going to discuss what the trend method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, coincide. So, I have taken five integer variable. First is n, second p, here after i, or c initialized to one, and next ten. So here after control comes to print your function. So whatever interval code that display into the output screen into number and a scanner function. So that accept the number. So whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 5. So percent because n is integer time. So if you take float, so you have to give percent f. Control comes to next, control comes to this point, print your. So this or display into the output screen into the power and whatever I'm going to enter so that received by p so I'm going to enter n p value 3 here after control comes to this point i value start from 1 so this is i uh, 1 start from 1 check the condition 1 less than p value 3 condition is to that coincide so n value go to tan n value is now 5 5 go to tan and here after c go to c into tan so 1 into 5 the value become 5 so c become 5 here after loop continue so i is now 2 here after check the condition 2 less than p value or 3 condition is 2 so n value go to tan again so n value is uh, 5 5 go to tan so no any changes here after c go to c into tan so c value is now 5 5 into 5 the value come 25 here after i increase so i is now 3 so check the condition 3 less than p value also 3 condition is 2 so that coincides so n value go to tan so n value is 5 5 go to 10 no any changes c go to c into tan so c value is now 25 and tan value is 5 25 into 5 c become 125 Here after i increase, so i is now 4. Or check the condition 4 less than p value 3. Condition is not true, not coincide. Control comes to this point. So this or display into the output screen. Percent that's for c. So the value of c is 1 to 5. So the output comes result colon 1 to 5. And here after that, out from main function. So this time I enter n value 5. So you should try to enter any other number like n7 and p value enter any number like 5 and do the same try and method. So you will get the expected output. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope you have understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.